Okay, so Tokyo Tony is basically dragging all of the Kardashian family. She is doing this in an interview and she st states a lot, guys. So there's a lot of information being revealed. It's a very long interview, so I'm just going to tell you, you know, the main figure points um, in a quick fire video. But I also su suggest you guys to watch the interview as well. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again. It is daily and consistent content, guys. Consistent and persistent, baby. And let's get straight into this video. There is an interview conducted by a YouTuber who goes by the name of Storm Monroe. And if you guys wish to watch his interview, then simply just search it up and it will, you know, you will find it. It is a long two-hour interview um via a live i think it was in spontaneously so for those of you who wish to watch it at length do so um but if not i'm just coming to you with just the quick point of what she was saying in this video sometimes she wasn't even saying alleged so either she's looking for that lawsuit or she's just so confident in what she knows because she's obviously involved and been with the family multiple times Right, so she talks about Chloe and how apparently there is some incestuous allegations, incestuous behavior going on between Chloe and Rob because Chloe is not a full-on Kardashian and things were going on between them. And apparently she has seen some videos that were that you know that have come to light via her phone, um, via stuff or in person, or she was sent some stuff. Um, as well as the fact that Chloe was the most ang um, angry one when she found out that Rob was you know um, in a position where he was got black china pregnant and you know engaged and gonna get married and everything now i don't know if i believe that guys i know i'm trying to like i don't know if i believe chloe and rob are having some incestuous relationship it could be true but at the same time i don't know whether one would take that um completely um but it's a lot of information the fact that there's some incestuous going on between them. She also said apparently through tweets, I didn't see this myself in a video, that apparently Chloe has some kind of STD or something of that nature, alleged. She didn't even say alleged, but she's saying this with confidence that this is what Chloe has. And I just feel like it's just a lot of stuff that she is saying. Um, perhaps because the relationship between China and Chloe is sour, that there could be something going on there. Um, but yeah, a lot of stuff. She also said that she found it very weird that Sophia Ritchie, Lionel Ritchie's daughter, was hanging around, you know, with the family when she was young, around 14, 15. But when she became older, 18 plus, she then began a relationship with Scott Disick and the fact that he was kind of, you know, preying on her in a very weird kind of manner. And this is why Kanye West does not want his children very public or, you know, wearing makeup because it could be guys around her. But then at the same day, um, once she's matured, they will suddenly then try and date this person. And that is very creepy and bizarre and weird for, you know... Um, somebody to, to do that with Kanye's and Kim's kids. Um, I think that, you know, was a good point um, in that, you know, dowsing makeup all over your children and making them look a certain way, you know, men will look at them differently, unfortunately. That's just what we live in today. Now, Scott Disick and Sophia Ritchie, it's bizarre and it's weird. Scott Disick dating much younger girls. He has a long track record of doing that. It's very weird. Why are you dating so many younger girls? What do you see? Why are you preying on them? Did you have this thought before? You, your ex-wife and, you know, a young girl all in a jacuzzi together. It is weird. So I definitely see Tokyo Tony's point there. And I think she does make sense when it comes to that. But the, sorry, I just can't get over the incestuous stuff. I think that stuff is bizarre. The fact that she's saying that, you know, um, Chloe and Rob, I'm not saying it's not believable because with this family, you never know what could take place. You never know what they'd be doing. You, you just don't know. So I'm not going to state that, you know, it's fake news because she was the only one that's been in close proximity to this family as opposed to anybody else. But I think it's a lot and it is a heavy allegation that, you know, you're doing this with Rob because she's not a full on Kardashian. Damn, did he damn, damn, damn. She also states that, you know, there, there was a, a, a part, I think this is really public information anyways, the word Dream unfortunately got burnt by Nanny and of course was one of the Kardashian nannies um, where this took place. And, you know, she feels Tokyo that somebody on their family or their side did it on purpose, allegedly something along this manner when it comes to Dream because the burnt size was quite big on Dream and nobody heard her scream. Of, of course, a baby is going to scream if they've got a burnt size. Hell, even I would scream if the burnt size was that size. And, you know, that in itself was quite confusing, but she touched on that as well. So, you know, I think that is a very suspect conversation. It can be true. Uh, maybe they didn't like Dream. Maybe they thought, you know, um, if we eliminate Dream, we can eliminate China forever from our lives or some kind of issue. And I think that in itself could be plausible, allegedly. 
She then touches on Astral World. Now, this is very bizarre to me. And it, uh, I like, sorry, this is, it's a lot of information to take in, guys. Hence why I'm trying to condense this interview. But again, if you guys wish to watch it, do so because it is a very long interview and she does spill a lot of stuff. Um, I don't know why she hasn't got a gag order. I don't know why she hasn't got, uh, you know, um, they haven't sent her season to sis or something of that nature. But I do see perhaps it would be coming in time because she keeps on talking and I don't think they're going to like it if and wish if and when this catches, you know, a lot of huge blogs and whatever. She does says that the Astral World passing of all those individuals has got nothing to do with Travis Scott. And that more so it was an in an introduction for, for Kylie Jenner, something to do with her, something to do with some kind of sacrifice for her, for the fact that she was there with a child pregnant in a place of rage, something to do with some kind of sacrifice for her. Hence why when she's caught walking, her head is down because of she you knows the walk of shame. Her head could also be down because she's also avoiding paps. I'm trying to just be objective here, guys. I'm not trying to be a defender of anybody. But a walk of shame and that it's got more of a preparation for her she has also alluded to the fact that Krishna is a witch or you know they practice witchcraft or they do something along those lines now i'm not trying to make light of witchcraft witchcraft is extremely serious and it's very real and people do it out there whether they call it black magic or whatever you want to call it whatever name people have for it it is very real and a lot of people like to you know play with the term as if it's a cartoon made up behavior definitely isn't it's very real guys stay protected but this is what she's she kind of alluded to the fact as well that they do stuff like that the astral world stuff and being an introduction for kylie jenner or some kind of sacrifice to help her or favor her i never really thought of that it's very interesting very very interesting there is some more stuff that she has said. I will put that in a separate video because I don't want to... There's just a lot of information in this video. I don't want to confuse you guys um, with so many different topics um, and just merge them all. I'd rather just space them out as much as I can, even though I've included four to five when I really was not was not going to. But if you guys want to watch that interview, I'd recommend it because it is a long interview. And it's by a YouTuber called Storm Monroe. I feel like, you know, there's no harm in... You know, mentioning uh, a YouTuber or giving them credit, no matter how big or small they are on these platforms, you know, um, if they have somebody who is revealing information, there's no harm in doing so in terms of, you know, just crediting them. But, you know, she's staying a lot. She's stating a lot, um, Tokyo Tony. I do think they're going to say something to her at some point. They have to. The family have to say something. They've kept very quiet. They've not said much to her. They feel like, you know, I've noticed that a lot of the information that she's been saying it hasn't really caught the blogs as much. When she spoke about Rob, it did. But apart from that, anything and everything else that she's been saying, uh, like, my only thing, and I've been saying this, is that I feel like she should state all of this information or whatever the hell she wants to say. Sing like a damn bird, but do it after the last lawsuit. Because you never know how her current behavior could be provided as ammunition for the Kardashian lawyers to beat her own Tokyo Tony's daughter, Black China, in the courts. You know, so I would just just suggest and you know advise her keep quiet. The lawsuits ain't finished yet. Talk about all of this post. This is my third time saying this because I just think that this is what people should be doing because it hasn't wrapped up yet. You know, they're still battling out in courts. She also said that the reason why Courtney really wants um, Black China's records, and of course she won that small victory, which I spoke about yesterday, and she's able now to see the therapy documents and the only find records, is because she's so up black woman's P word. This is what um, Tokyo Tani said as well, that close specifically is really up black woman's P word. Now I see that and I, I agree with that. I think there are a lot of points that Tokyo is saying that does sound logical, um, but a lot of this information is alleged. And it's just a lot. The Scott, the, the Scott Disick stuff, people need to really, they don't really discuss that as much. They, we talk about it and then we forget about it uh, in general in the stratosphere. But this man has preyed on way too many young girls. It is weird. Somebody who is in his 40s continuously dating somebody who's 18, 19 is weird. Please come and arrest him. Matter of fact, he's probably in the police car right now, already been arrested. Because it's bizarre for you to be dating somebody so low and you've continuously done that. It's creepy as hell. Very creepy. Let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to this video. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button. I didn't mean to make it so long. 
will be coming out with a part two of some of you know other stuff that she's been saying on other interviews as well on other blogs in general she's been saying stuff and it is a lot subscribe to the channel click that button it's daily and consistent content hit the notifications bell i would appreciate it watch that interview if you guys wish to um it's very extensive and i will catch you guys soon for another video